So it's frequently asked, how can I test my fabric to see how repellent it's gonna be towards wetness? So I have three different kinds of fleece here, which are all readily available. This one here, I would consider the best. It's a hard faced wind pro fleece, and I'll put the link in the description for where you can buy this by the yard. You can also buy it in bulk. This is called Polar Tech 200, and it's available at some Joann stores, not all Joann stores. And this one here is just your standard run of the mill anti pill fleece that you can buy just about anywhere from any fabric store. So one thing many people ask is, how can I tell if my fleece that I have is gonna be repellent or not? You can't really walk around a fabric store testing their fabric for water repellency. So unfortunately, this isn't really something you're gonna be able to do in the fabric store. Unless you wanna take that risk, then that's up to you. If you're gonna walk around Joanne and spray things with a water bottle, that's your own call. But typically, this is something you're gonna to have to do at home. So we're gonna start with the one that I consider to be the best fabric. And this one again is the Hard Faced Wind Pro Fleece. And essentially what hard face means is that one side it's napped like this, like you would see with an anti-pill or a polar fleece. And the other side looks more like this. So it's knit and you can see the knit structure in it a little bit. And it's just a smoother face. So if you're making diapers, this side is going to stay pretty longer. If you're doing pads, this side is going to be less slippery towards the underwear. So for pads, I would recommend having the napped side or the fluffy side out. And for diapers, you probably want to have the hard face side out since it's going to stay pretty longer. Both sides are going to be equally repellent. So don't worry about one side being more repellent than the other. So what you would do to test your fleece and make sure what you have is going to be repellent is for starters have something absorbent underneath it so this I have Zorb fabric in from Wazoodle you can do something as simple as a dish towel put a dish towel underneath it put your fleece on top because you're going to want something that can pull moisture through if you just test the fabric without anything absorbent underneath you're not really going to know for sure what the capabilities are so I just have water with a little bit of blue dye. And so what you do to test for repellency is just pour it on top. And see this Wind Pro is so good, I can't even get it to, to puddle. So what you would do then is kind of put a little bit of pressure on it and see if you can get it to go through. It's not unusual for some of it to go through but you don't want all of it to soak through. And this, it's not going through. It's diluted in color a little bit because I dispersed it, but it's not going through. It's just rolling right off. You can see the water dripping everywhere. I've got puddles all over the place now. So it's not going through this at all. And feeling the other side, there's no wetness there. So this would be a very good water repellent fabric. So again, it rolls right off. I can't even get it to stay and puddle. So we'll try that again with the Polar Tech 200 fleece that is from Joanne. I'm not sure that you're gonna be able to find this at every Joanne store. I was able to find it at my local one, no problem. I bought the whole bolt of it. I don't know if they ever got it back in. So you do the same thing on this one. And this one's very good. It's gonna be repellent as well. And I'm gonna pour it on there and it just, it pours right off. So getting it to beat up just like the other one is very difficult because it's so water repellent. So I'm giving a little bit of pressure and it's just spreading out. It's not really absorbed by the fabric. So as soon as I lift it up, you can see it start to spill off. So this isn't really being absorbed either. So any wetness, whether it's blood or urine that goes on this, is going to be repelled back to whatever is absorbent and what's absorbent is going to soak it up. So anything that I'm pushing in with some pressure just beads right off and falls right off. And so finally, what I have here is just run of the mill standard anti pill fleece. You can get that at Joanne at any time. They're always going to have tons of colors and prints in stock. 
This does work relatively well, but it doesn't last as long as the other ones. This one's gonna soak a little bit quicker and becomes more saturated. So if you're just doing this for testing purposes, essentially you're gonna do the exact same thing. And you can kind of see right there, this one doesn't roll off quite as quickly. It definitely still does have a good bit of roll off, but it does collect a little more. And so I'm gonna kind of put some pressure on this one. And most of it does still pull off, but you can see here with that pressure, some of it did start to go through and I can definitely feel a lot of dampness on the other side of this. It's very wet. So there's a lot that went through and a lot of that wetness is not coming out. It's still staying in the fabric. So it is very good still in terms of resistance to water, but it's not gonna last near as long as the other ones. So a lot of this still does beat off and that's great. The problem becomes once there's pressure because babies sit, anyone that has a period is gonna sit down and there's gonna be wetness going through that's gonna be pushed. And so with the other two, there's no dampness on the other side when we press, but on this one, there's a lot of dampness that I'm feeling. And just for fun, I have a little scrap of polyurethane laminate here. I personally don't recommend using it for pads for multiple reasons. If you're gonna have polyurethane laminate and you're gonna have fleece behind it, that's fine. Um, but if you're just gonna have the polyurethane laminate itself, it's so slippery and doesn't like to stay in one spot. If you're using diapers, obviously that's not an issue. And just for fun, you can see how water resistant this is, a little bit of pressure. Everything's just rolling off of that. It's only blue because of the food coloring I put in. Nothing came through that. The water's still beating off. So this is probably gonna be the most water resistant, but again, for pads, I personally don't think it's great because it gets very slippery. Something else people like to do if they're using polyurethane laminate is to back it with cotton. Again, this is another thing I don't love. I've done it and you can certainly do it. The issue, whether you're making diapers or making pads becomes any kind of leak is gonna turn into a big problem very quickly. So let's say whether it's a diaper or a pad, you have a leak on one side, off to one side right here. This is what's gonna happen. Since you're backing it with some kind of cotton fabric and cotton is a very thirsty fabric, it's gonna grab that wetness and it's gonna drag it. When you do something similar on a fleece product, it doesn't get dragged through because you're using a polyester fabric here and polyester doesn't want to soak up water like cotton does. So same thing here. Say there's a leak off the side. It's not getting pulled through to the other side. So there's a big difference between what product you're going to use and how it's going to work out. If you're not interested in using synthetic products like polyurethane laminate and you wanna go with the fleeces, which by the way are still synthetic, they're for the most part 100% polyester, but a lot of people think that they're more environmentally friendly, so they prefer to go for fleeces. And if you're gonna do that, um, there is a difference in quality. So the higher end quality is gonna be things made by Malden Mills. So WinPro, Polar Tech, things like that are gonna be the best, whether again, for pads or diapers, anything that you need to be water resistant. Then Polar Tech, I think it's a little bit cheaper even, especially with all the Joanne coupons than WinPro is. And then the last one of this group, the lowest quality is going to be your standard fleeces. So anti-pill, polar, blizzard, things like that are going to be the least water resistant, but they definitely still work. And then things like polyurethane laminate are definitely going to be the most water resistant, if not more so than the WinPro. They're going to be very, very close. I think WinPro is probably equally as water resistant personally. And from good, better, best, we would go left to right. Again, I don't recommend polyurethane laminate for pads because it's so slippery. Some people love it, that's your call. 
for pads, these three are the best. For diapers, you'd be looking at polyurethane laminate, WinPro, Polar Tech, and then standard fleece, uh, standard synthetic fleeces. If you're not interested in using polyurethane laminate and you wanna make fitteds and things like that, again, it's gonna be in that order. WinPro is gonna be the best. Polar Tech from Joanne is very good. And then your anti-pill fleece is gonna be acceptable as well. So that's how you're gonna do any kind of water repellency test. Just pour it on top, give it a little bit of pressure, see how much does or does not go through, and check the other side to see how wet it is and how much wetness went through. See that one, just see that? It's such a good fabric, it just rolls right off. Whereas this one, <laughs> it's all soaked, soaked in now. None of it actually rolled off. So that's how you're gonna do a water repellency test on the fabrics you own. And I hope that helps you out a lot.